Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be checking out uh, forms in HTML and, and probably I'm going to uh, divide our discussion on forms in two tutorials and you know, this might be a little inconvenient for you um, because I'm going to use uh, part of what we build in this tutorial in the next tutorial. So you know, you, you, you would probably want to check out both tutorials uh, you know, in one go. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this because if I discuss all uh, you know form aspects in one tutorial, then the tutorial will become very long, and I don't want that. So, anyway, let's just get started. Uh, on line number one here in this file, I have the doc type declaration. Then you know I have the head section, the body section, and then between the body section, I have you know a lot of text that we haven't seen uh, till now in the course. And uh, this form, this file. If you open it in Google Chrome, this is how it looks. So at the moment, it has just this form has how many fields? Just one, two, and three fields. So you can enter your first name, your last name, and you can tell your gender. You know whether you're male or female. So we have uh, two different kinds of uh, input forms, and uh, the first one is uh, a text box that you see here, and uh, then you also have radio buttons and. Uh, the special thing about radio buttons is that if at a time I can only have uh, one uh, option selected. So, you know, a person can either be male or can be female. Like, you know, at the moment, these are the only options you have and you have to choose just one of the two. Whereas if you have something like checkboxes, you know, you can select multiple checkboxes and, uh, you know, whatever variable you're setting with those values, that variable can take multiple values. But gender for instance is, is a variable that can take only one value and so is age you know like if you're uh, selecting among age categories this is something that you see uh, fairly often in uh, survey questionnaires that you have age groups to select from so you know you can have you can either uh, be in the age group 18 to 25 or you can be in the age group 25 to 30 it's not that you can belong to both age groups so uh, in those situations again you use radio buttons Whereas if you're selecting uh, ways in which people can contact you through email, through SMS or, you know, through call, then you can have checkboxes. And we're going to check out checkboxes uh, in maybe the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, let's see how we can construct this much. So this is the HTML file. And uh, I want you guys to have a look at what I have on line number nine. So I have, uh, you know, the text first name which is between the opening and closing paragraph tags on line number uh, 8 and 15 respectively so i have the text first name then a colon so you know this is uh, where this is displayed first name and the colon and then i have the input tag so between the uh, opening and closing angular brackets or the less than and greater than symbol you type the word input and give a space and type the word type Right? So you have to specify what kind of form control you want to use. So if you want a simple text box, then you just type in text between double quotes. right? And then you also have to give a name to your form field. So this is how you would uh, distinguish this text box from the text box that's going to take in the, the last name for uh, your user. So you use the name attribute for that. So this is going to be the name for this form field. So you type in name, the equal to symbol and between double quotes, you type in whatever name you want to assign to the field. So if you want to assign first underscore name, you can type in that. If you want to just type in the alphabets FN, that's also cool. So, you know, that's up to you, whatever name you want to give to the field, you may. And uh, then you give a space, get in the forward slash and the closing angular bracket. And that's it. You know, you'll get your form field. And then to have uh, some space between the first field and the second field, I have uh, two, uh, you know, BR tags here. And then I have uh, the same uh, procedure for last name field. Again, I have last name colon, and then I've used the input tag with the type text. And uh, the name for this field is uh, last underscore name. And then again, you have the forward slash and uh, the uh, closing angular bracket and then again I have uh, BR tags here and then finally I have the radio button um, field here so I have gender colon which is same as you know for the previous two fields I had first name colon last name colon here I have gender colon and then I have used the input tag but this time the type for the tag is radio instead of text it's radio and uh, you know I have uh, given the uh, name uh, gender to this uh, field 
and I have the value mail for the mail radio button and I have uh, you know just copied this and uh, used the value female for the female radio button and you have to make sure that you know if for one particular variable like in this case it is gender if you have uh, five different values then the name for all the fields has to be the same so the name for the first field which is for male is gender and for the second one is also gender whereas the values are different so the value for the first one is male and the value for the second one is female if you change the names then people will be able to select multiple radio buttons as well right so this is something that i want you guys to understand like uh, here say if i change the value of gender to gender underscore new and uh, save this file and if i refresh it in google chrome i'll be able to select male as well as female right and this defeats the purpose so you know uh, you don't want this so i'm going to change this back to gender and i'll save the file and uh, this is what we want we can select only one option at a time right so we're going to check out more form controls in the next tutorial and uh, if you have any doubts regarding any of this feel free to comment on the tutorial or you could also reach out to me in other ways send me messages or uh, you know uh, catch up with me on facebook or uh, you know send me an email and uh, i hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel i'll uh, see you in the next video till then take care